are going to study about the integumentary system of the animals which provides support, protection and, and movement to the animals. In this lecture we will see what an integument is, how it has developed along the developing uh, line of the tree of life starting from the unicellular organisms to the multicellular and ending towards the mammals and then we will understand the functions of the integument and the different types of the integuments in different groups of the corders. Right, so let's begin. The integument. The integument is a protective outer covering of the body that includes the skin, the structure associated with the skin such as the scales, cutes, setae, horns, feathers and it is epithelial covering for both vertebrates and invertebrates and known as the largest uh, organ in the animal body. So in short it is the complete envelope or the covering of the body which is the first line of the defense against the internal, against the external hazards Right, so this is a barrier between the external environment of the organism and its internal environment. Right now, for a second, I would pause here and would like you to talk uh, to think about uh, what are the possible functions of an integument. So the first one is it is the first defense against the foreign organisms. You know, the infections happen through uh, the skin when there is a point of entry, like an abrasion or some inf uh, some wound or some cuts along the skin so if the skin is intact it will provide the full protection to the animal body second is provides the protection against external environmental factors like it provides a barrier for the desiccation or the dry airs which will evaporate the excess moisture from the uh, animal's body then it regulates the body temperature by insulating the body from inside so the skin has a thick layer of connective tissue underneath that provides full insulation and it helps the body to maintain the internal temperature. Now can think this point in terms of the uh, origin of uh, endothermy. When the animals became uh, capable of maintaining their internal temperatures, they developed the skin more robust and more specialized to provide specific protection against the desiccation. Okay. So, fourth is it maintains the fluid equilibrium in the animal body by providing the layer of the keratinized material or some uh, calcified bones on the body. It it maintains the fluid equilibrium, right? Right. So evaporation. Then it has all the receptors to sense from the external environment and to send a message to the brain to do the needful to maintain the homeostatic conditions. Uh, they have the sensors for the pain, they have the sensors for the pressure, they have sensors for the touch and, and some other things as well. Then it supports the removal of the waste materials because they have sweat glands and sweat glands helps in cooling down the body and also removing the extra excess waste chemicals or detoxify the animal body. And one of the most important function in mammals is the vitamin D production. So it's the natural factory for producing vitamin D for mammals. It, in some cases it could be specialized for the sensory and respiratory functions like in um, frogs and toads. Then it provides nutrient storage where the uh, connective tissue in the skin stores most of the fatty acids which are used later for producing energy. And finally the behavior uh, that includes sexual selection, aggregation, identification. You know uh, animal color patterns are, uh, are one of the major things which uh, dictates the, select and the sexual selection among the animal species. Also having uh, the cryptic colors, uh, very aggressive patterns on the body, color patterns. They help the animal to scare off their predators or lure their prey. And also these colors are used for their identification.